A live look out at San Francisco tonight where a new city poll is showing disappointing results tonight on the quality of life. KPIX 5's Betty Yu spoke to current and former residents and is live on the Embarcadero tonight. Betty? Can both of them agree that crime has worsened in San Francisco in recent years? And that poll also found that more than 40% of people surveyed would like to move out of the city in the next few years. Many already have. It's become a common sight during the pandemic. Needles like these splattered on the sidewalk outside a financial district condo across from a five-star hotel. There's nothing worse than seeing such a beautiful place in such disarray. And I really thought I was going to be sad when the movers loaded up the last the last container on Saturday, and I have never been more relieved. After more than 12 years in San Francisco, Lindsay Stevens recently sold her place and moved to the Palm Springs area during the pandemic. I honestly think in the last three years, we've seen a massive decline in the quality of life, and that was only enhanced over COVID. Um, you know, the homelessness has been a severe problem. People are not feeling safe walking their dogs. The number of break-ins seem to be, you know, constantly on the rise. Her feelings are reflected in the results of a new poll by the San Francisco Chamber of Commerce. 80% of residents say crime has worsened in recent years. 70% feel that quality of life has declined. Nearly 90% say homelessness has worsened. 76% believe that increasing the number of officers in high crime neighborhoods should be a high priority. I think safety is a huge concern. Even two years ago when I first initially moved back to the city, I never viewed certain neighborhoods as necessarily unsafe. That's until 24-year-old resident Menku Lee became a victim himself this past Friday. He was headed to happy hour near the ballpark on 3rd Street with his friends when he says he was racially and physically attacked by a homeless man. I said a slur to forcefully pushed me over slash tripped me. Um, really startled by the incident. An overwhelming 82% of those polled said they'd like to see more caseworkers on the streets to help people with mental illness and substance use problems. Nearly 75% supported more temporary shelter for homeless people. Yeah, Benny, I'm wondering, um, this is what people are telling you. Uh, what does the mayor have to say about all this? Well, she said recently that the city needs to make more investments. Earlier this month, she did announce a $1 billion investment over the next two years to help fix this homelessness problem that would include more housing and mental health services. Ken? Betty, you reporting live. Thank you, Betty.